Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am here with a demo version of a new game that is about to come out. This is The Deadliest Catch, the game. Now, for those of you who have not seen this particular show that used to be on uh, the Discovery and I believe also the Historic Channels, this is about crab fishing. And at the time, it was probably the, and actually it was, the most dangerous job in the world. I think now it's been taken over by guys who fix the uh, cell phone towers, but it's still up there in the top five for sure. But anyway guys, this is the alpha build, so that means it is going to be full of bugs. However, we're going to take a look at it. This is, I don't believe it's even out to uh, check out yet, but I was given a chance to take a quick look at it. So we're going to go ahead and see how we do this. Now I'm going to keep the season length at 5 days. And 1 hour in game is 25 minutes of real time. And I guess we'll just go ahead and jump in guys. Now if you noticed immediately that's copywritten. But... Too bad it is. You can't play it. I like that song. Alright guys. A lot of this stuff is a little tricky. I did come in and mess around a little bit with it. And the only problem is, is that I didn't do very well. Honestly. I ended up dropping pots overboard. I ended up uh, doing a lot of things I didn't or shouldn't have been doing. But the trouble is, as you make mistakes, you learn, so that's the thing. But what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to go ahead and jump in here and see if we can't do a little better than I did my first run round. So, anyway, this is the manual, and you can check this at any time by hitting the tab key. Now, when you start off, you start off here on land where you try to figure out how to divvy out what money you have which is about seven thousand five hundred dollars you start off with two crab pots you start off with eh, you're down almost a thousand gallons in your tank for your boat and you've got a little bit of weight on there but you've still got plenty of weight that you can carry and I think this is actually the weight of the fish themselves I'm not a hundred percent certain how that is but we're going to check this out. We got the processing plan. I think we're a little ahead of that. Fines. You can get fined if you accidentally, well, you're not supposed to accidentally, if you put female crabs in there or crabs that are under a certain length in, the, in there. Here's the gas station, which we might actually go to real quick and make sure that we have enough gas for this. That's going to add to our total capacity of weight. But I'm going to put a little bit more gas in here. Not too much more. So I want to be able to get around and not get stranded. Let's see, what's this? This is the upgrades. Okay, this is when... I guess when you have the time available. It's not available now. may not be available in the demo, I don't know. Now here's the store. And it's here we can buy extra equipment and I think we probably ought to get some of these here. These are floats. I want to get five just to be sure. Grappling hooks. Got four of five. Penetrating oil, I don't know what we need that for yet, but I'm going to buy it just in case. Pot repair kit. Let's get seven of those. Sardine bait blocks. Wait a minute. Herring bait blocks. I thought I bought this. I'm just going to go ahead and buy a 10. 
and I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy two more crab pots. So that'll bring us actually to a grand total of four. And I think that's all we can buy at this time. So we're going to go ahead and confirm that. That's going to take quite a bit of our money, but if we can do this right, we should have no problem. Now I'm going to check the parameters to find a good spot. King Red king crabs live on sandy or muddy seabeds. Avoid rocky. Depth between 20 and 200 meters or 11 to 110 feet temperature 4 degrees around 4 degrees or 39 degrees Fahrenheit you can turn on filters on the map the best to help you decide where the best spot may be so that's going to be helpful this must be I guess the red means that's a better spot so alright guys Go ahead and get our crab vessel going. Now, let's see. These are the filters. What's the temperatures here? We've got... So these red areas are the best temperature-wise. And that is what? Rocky... rocky areas looks like these areas right here are going to be the best so we got to go from here to over here I would say just kind of skirt around and play, put most of them right here to start off with all right let's go ahead and set sail for right here do you want to catch crabs there yes it's gonna take a little bit of gas eight hours to get there all right yeah the map's a lot bigger than it appears now you've got between and 16 hours you want to leave these pots out no more than that now it's a little dark it's uh, 6:28 p.m. so it is going to make it a little bit harder to see. I wish there was a way to brighten things up a bit. We do have a flashlight, so that does help a little. Alright, let's see here. This is probably what we're going to need to be able to sort the crabs when the time comes. Okay, how do I drop this? Let's see. Z to check the controls. So. Open, close, map, tab, forward, backward, crouch, interact, drop item, Q. There we go. Boom. All right. Here's our four pots. This is to go inside the wheelhouse. This is where you control the speed of the boat and where you're turning around. You've got your little... So, uh, radar there so that you can see where the pots are or how close you are and to get out of here you hit Q that turns your light on now we're gonna go up here and you can basically walk all over this deck here but we're not really gonna do that too much walking we're just gonna take a quick look around here you can also get into the wheelhouse this way either one of these doors but you'll come out these doors but there we go this is the whole facility big boat big boat all right let's get back to the business end of the boat all right now this is where we got to put the pots. We basically have to lay them on this contraption. This is called a, um, I think it's called a lift. Let's see. That's how you lift it up. When the time comes, that's how you dump it. So 
so that's what we're going to end up having to do here in a little bit. Now, I don't know how you lower it. Let's see. How do you lower it? Oh, R to lower. But anyway, that'll keep you from dropping it. And this is the table where you actually sort the crabs. And over here, we got some other controls for the winch hook, the coiler. This again raises that. Actually, I think this is for the crane. Nope, it's not. That raises that back. So basically, you can go do it from either end. This is the crane. Now, the crane can be used from two locations. You can use it from here. Or you can do it from over here. There's another little device here. And you've got a top view of the crane. And a side view. That way you can kind of maneuver things and not drop your pot. But basically you move it just like this. Side to side. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get one of these pots. You see the little X that's appearing there? That helps you pinpoint where you need to go. And whoops. Let's get this one. Okay, and then you gotta pick it up. I would suggest once you get it over to here to change your camera view that way you can make sure that you're over the right location boom there you go now let's get out of the crane here, and I think that's Q, yes. Now we've got our first crab pot set up here. Now we open the door, smack ourselves in the face, and the first thing we gotta do is we gotta bait it. Bait is kept over here in the fridge. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's see, sardine, sorry. Let's just try the herring bait for now. Try the herring bait. See what the herring bait does. Now you have to crouch to get it set up in here. And you just hang it in there. That's got your bait. Stand back up. Then you come over here and you get one of the buoys. It's got 15 of them so we're in good shape there. Put the buoy up there. As you can see, it went out into the water. Make sure you close the pot. Otherwise, you're not going to get any crabs. <laughs> They'll just wander in and wander out. Alright, I think we're ready to launch this guy. So let's go ahead and see if we can throw this in. go there she goes and that's what it looks like when it's out there all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move a little bit ahead so that means we need to get into the wheelhouse get W to start moving you can see we're already on the move here. It's kind of hard to see, but if you look on the right, you can kind of see that going back and forth. But we're going to just stay on a straight path. We don't want these pots too close together. Now we're going to shut her down.
once it stops let me make sure it's completely stopped okay we are still all right let's go ahead and exit the wheelhouse Oops. All right, we're going to get another pot out. Let me get over here where I can see things a little bit better. It's getting kind of dark, which is making it a little bit more difficult to do. Change my camera view. All right, now we're going to bring it down. We're going to try to get this next pot in line. Change the camera view again. Alright, now what we need to do is we're going to need to hold that right there and get out of the crane view. And then we need to move this back to where it was. Almost forgot to do that. Let's see. Alright, it's in place. Back to the crane. Okay, I need to move this back a little bit. There, it's better. And it's there. All right. But basically, that's what you got to do, and we're going to go ahead and get this, this sardines bait this time. I think we're going to go ahead and mix it up a little bit. Hang the bait. Grab a buoy. Whoops. Close the pot. Alright. And I think we're ready to launch it. Now, after several hours of this, when we come back to get these pots, we should be able to see a lot better. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm basically going to, go, going to rinse and repeat, set the other four, and then I will bring you back as we try to collect them. Alright guys, we are back. All the pots have been set, and we have been waiting them out. Now this one has been setting out for about 10 hours, and we're going to check it and see if we got anything. This is my first attempt, so I kind of half expect to, to have failed. <laughs> so, but anyway, what we got to do here is we got to grab this. This is the grappling hook, and we got to use that to try to pull the boy back. So, my understanding is you got to sit there and you got to put this little line in there with the left mouse button, aim for this little area here.
you keep clicking back and forth until you get it. And I believe we got it that time. Let's see, now we have to come over here because the pot is now hooked up. <clears throat> if we don't use the crane for this, what we need to do now is we need to turn on the coiler. Okay, and that, what that just did is that brought the pot up, as you can see right here. I don't know if there's anything in it. So if there isn't, we obviously didn't do very well, but we'll keep at it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and lower the wrench hook. <laughs> and we hook this on here, and then we place it on the launcher. And guys, I don't see any crabs. <laughs> of course not. Oh, of course we don't. Anyway, let's go ahead and raise the winch hook. Get that out of our way. I uh, don't think we caught anything, guys. It's not looking good. Alright, well... What we need to do now is we need to raise this up a little bit. And then we need to move this forward. Just like that. And then E to throw the crab. Oh, okay, open the pot first. That might help, yeah. Then throw the crabs from it. Okay, we didn't catch a daggone thing, guys. <laughs> we didn't catch anything. Well, that stinks. Alright, well, hmm. Not good. I don't think we did. Let's go ahead and take a. Let's move it backwards first. We'll lower the. Go ahead and lower that. Yeah, we didn't get a single solitary crab, guys. Not good. We did not do very well. <laughs> not sure what we did wrong. But hopefully, on the next pot... We'll do a little bit better. But what I'm going to go ahead and do, get, this, get the crane going here, put the pot back over here. that place and we'll get out of the crane here go ahead and try to get the next pot and we'll see if we find any this time if we get any crabs <laughs> I'll bring you back if we don't then I guess we got to try it again we were just weren't successful all right let's go see if we can't find the next pot Alright guys, we are at the next pot, and we're going to see if we got any this time. I, I only know that I did everything I thought I was supposed to do, and we're just going to have to hope for the best, I guess. We just need to move ahead a little bit forward. 
you basically got to get that pot in visual range and then you just back off and go into neutral just like that and then you come out over here come over here get your winch a grappling hook I mean throw it out there drag that sucker in it's coming there we go we got it now let's see if we got us any crabs yes we got crab look at them all guys crab city all right yes 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 <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and lower the winch hook. We're going to hook it into here. Put it on the launcher. Now you got to raise this up a little bit. Otherwise you can't get that table underneath there. Then you just move the table forward. Open up the pot itself and then you toss the crabs out. There they go. Then we move the back. Go ahead and close this. And I'm going to move it back down so that it doesn't fall off into the water. Which could be really bad. Alright, now we're going to start sorting crabs. Let's see here. What we got? Can't really see them. Alright guys, I want to show you real quick here. I did find a way to brighten things up around here. Thank God for that. I thought it was just naturally that dark, but if you're having issues with the darkness, if you come into the settings under graphics, you can turn up the gamma and brightness. And for people like me, I like to be able to see what I'm doing. And I basically took it up pretty high. I like it nice and bright so that I can see what the heck's going on. I already went ahead and checked the first crab and he looks like he's in pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and start checking these guys let's see here's the next one now apparently what you gotta do is you have to press space to examine them you turn them around and if they pass both of these then they are okay if I understand that right. I hope I did. But he's male and he seems to be the right size. So once it's once it's good, we put and hit it under D and he comes over to this side. Whoop. Undo. Okay, let's look at this guy here. Yep, see he's not big enough, so he's marked bad. He's a right length, but it's female, so it has to be marked bad again. And he's bad. Both female and too small. Okay, this one passes both, so this is marked good. Yeah, these guys will fine you if you don't pass this. This is marked bad as well. So basically all the females and the small ones have to go back. I'm sure this is too small. Now 
looks like a lot of these are small, unfortunately. And it's female. Ah, shoot. Hold on, I hit the wrong button. Alright guys, I'm going to check the rest of these and we'll see how many we actually got. It's not looking all that good, <laughs> honestly. Alright guys, it looks like we've got them sorted. Yeah, we've only got 12 good ones. And it looks like the rest of them are female or too small. So we're going to have to all right, figure out how to move these over to the bucket. I'm not sure how that's done. But we're going to go ahead and exit the sorting. Let's see. So E to grab the good crabs. Okay. Well. How do I... Oh, drop item. Q. Well, that didn't work. Where we put the crabs. Alright, we're gonna try to use this if we can. I don't know how to do it exactly, but. Oh, there we go. I wish there was a way you could just pick them up quickly. This is not exactly easy, <laughs> but we'll just go ahead and drop them in there. All right, let's see here. We've got just a couple more here to pick up. Close it up. Go ahead and take this one over to here. Let's see. I think this is what you really use it for. God, it's not easy to get them in there. Alright, there we go. It doesn't look like you could pick them up one of the, I mean, any other way other than one at a time. Alright, let's go ahead and get these. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I was doing this all wrong. But when you are picking up the crabs, if you hold the tote and then you hit E, you'll put them all in there at one time. That will also work for the good ones too. Now I've got... I can't remember... Uh, is it over here? Well, at some point we can toss these overboard but I don't remember how to do that. I might have to check... Let's see... Hold on, I need to check the thing here. It says to throw crabs overboard. Pick up the tote. And correct Come to the starboard and click on the C. Okay. <laughs> I can never remember which is port and which is starboard. Oh boy. Now 
Uh, apparently that's not it. Let's try this side. Well, that didn't work. Okay, that did it. Nope. I think it worked. I hope it worked. I don't know. Guess we'll find out if we get in trouble. Anyway, that was our first set of crabs, and it looks like we were able to get a decent amount. So, I don't know if we should go and get some more, or if there's enough time to mess with this. Let's see. Let's go. It's getting really foggy here. Let's go ahead and move the pot back where it was. Alright, we got that one set. And we're ready to go get the next pot. Alright, let's see here. Get out of this. Oh yeah, that gamma setting and brightness setting made a major difference. I do need to put that hook back up where it belongs. And let's go ahead and head to the wheelhouse and we're going to see if we can't get to the next pot. It's rainy. The pot's just outside there. In a, let's see, can I reach it? I think I can reach it, actually. Well, I need to put this away. Okay. Let's see. Alright, so we need to get this. got it in. Nasty weather this. Here's the winch hook. Holy crap. There's a lot of crabs in this this time. Nice. Yep, we have got a lot of crab in here this time. Let's get that out of the way. Raise this up a little bit. Move this forward. Okay, well I want to move forward. have to lower that. I don't know. I thought... Let's try moving forward now. Lift the launcher first. I did that. Wait a minute. Maybe I need to put this back. Opening it first. Okay, I am seriously confused.
Ah, great. I hit the wrong button. Daggone it. That was a lot of crabs and a whole crab pond. Shoot. <laughs> Something was going on. It wasn't. This was not moving forward no matter what I tried. It was. It still won't. It's like it's stuck. There's no crabs here. I don't. I don't understand it. I think it might be a bug, guys. I'm not sure. They did say there was going to be bugs, but it will not move forward no matter what I do. It will move. No, it won't move forward at all. Let's try to put this here. No, it will not move forward. Let me see something. Let's check the crane. Maybe the crane's got to be up a little higher. No, it will not move forward. I do not... I don't get it. I mean... Something blocking the path. What is blocking the path? No, it will not move forward. That is so weird. Well, I think I found our first bug, guys. Because there is nothing in the world that I have attempted to do to make this thing move forward like it's supposed to. <clears throat> well, shoot. It's not good. Yep, it will not move. Well, wouldn't have mattered anyway. I can't get it to work. Well, guys, that's my first look at this. But yeah, it's definitely full of bugs. But it's got a, some serious potential here. Once you figure out the lighting and everything like that out, it's really actually pretty fun. I just don't know what to do about this this table. It's like it will not cooperate. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or what it is, but it will not move forward. Okay, I moved it backward. Huh. Yep, it will not move. I'm just making doubly sure. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this first look. Hopefully, they'll get that prepared didn't get that repaired, I think everything else of you seems to be working pretty good. Oh well. As I said, there will be bugs. But yeah, it will not move forward at all. Let's see here. As I said, move launcher first. And nothing. <laughs> Alright. Anyway guys, always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I'll be back with something else and hopefully this will be fixed in the next version i'll talk at you later guys bye bye